Alright guys, now that we have created our first droplet, it's time to secure it. Now, what do I mean by securing it is that, uh, you know, just assigning some firewall rules to this droplet so that people are not able to access your instance, your computer hosted on internet in a way which you do not intend them to. So what you want to do is you want to head over to networking right here and you want to go into firewalls. So what you want to do is you're going to create a new firewall right here and name it whatever you like. I'm going to name it as DigitalOcean First Firewall, something like this. And what you want is you want to customize the rules right here. So these rules right here would define how the traffic reaches to your DigitalOcean instance. And what we want to do is what happens is when a person types this IP address that is, you know, specific to your droplet, what happens is first of all, the request reaches to the main DigitalOcean servers, then the DigitalOcean servers decide that which server, which computer should be responsible for handling that request, right? So by using firewalls inside your DigitalOcean panel itself, what you can do is you can restrict the access on something known as the network layer that is the layer 4 so and this happens before even the request reaches your own server so it's basically like digital ocean is sitting in front of you and protecting you and the request does not even reach your own computer if you sort of block it using the digital ocean firewall here this is one of the primary difference between creating a firewall here and creating a firewall on your computer itself that is like you know just using IP tables or um, I don't know some other tools like that so in that case the actual packets the actual information reaches your computer your computer uses some sort of CPU time or maybe you know uses some sort of mechanism some software to parse whether that request should be accepted or dropped and then if it is accepted it goes through if dropped you just respond blank right if you use a firewall like this on DigitalOcean's resources DigitalOcean is now responsible for blocking or allowing the traffic right not your own computer so you kind of get that advantage plus you can pretty much customize it very quickly from the dashboard as well and for the most part, you do not really need to customize this very often. You just have to customize this once or twice. And once the configuration is fine, you should never really touch about your firewalls at all. Unless you think there's a breach or, you know, you need to extend some functionality. So yeah, that's, that's basically it. So yeah, that's it for the introduction part for the firewall. In the next one, we're going to be learning about these protocols right here. Some of the most common ones, at least and see how we can implement some firewalls rules. So that's all for this video. I'm going to see you in the next one.